it's Nakia here with another video. I know another makeup tutorial, but I'm really feeling inspired by makeup. So I'm just creating what um, inspires me. Before we get into this video, if you haven't already, take one quick second, go down below and click that subscribe button. And once you do that, that bell notification button's gonna pop up. Click that so that you never miss an upload, y'all. Join the club. Uh, 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 uh. So as you can tell by the video, it's another video about Jackiana, another video involving Jackiana's makeup routine, another video involving Jackiana's makeup palette. Ka-ching! I've been waiting to get my hands on this baby. I got my hands on it. I did my swatch and review video of the palette. Did a cute little brown, greenish gold makeup look. But today I am doing the Jackiana palette challenge. So Alyssa Ashley created a video of her um, shades and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the video and I am going to just screenshot three shadows and I have to use those um, in my makeup look so we don't know what we're gonna get so I have to create a makeup look with just those three shadows hopefully I get a matte in there please um, so yeah here we go Oh, and as you all can tell, face is already done. Got my baking powder. All right, here we go. Alyssa's video. Screenshot one. Screenshot two. Screenshot three. All right, let's see what I got. <clears throat> Ooh, I got credit. Yay. Big wig and Zam. Ah, that's crazy because I think I just said yesterday that Zam is a little chunky and I've never worn it, but it was chunky when I swatched it. So yeah. Let's go. All right, figures, since we're doing eyeshadow look, I would bring y'all in a little bit closer. Okay, so I feel like I have to do credit as a transition color. If y'all see me blinking a lot, I have makeup on my eye and it won't like go away. I have no idea. Like on my literal eyeball, huh. All right, credit, we're gonna start with that. I actually wanna take a fluffy blending brush. All right, taking this fluffy blending brush, I'm going to go into credit which is this matte brown color. And I'm going to use that to be my like transition color. So we're going to stamp, I'm gonna add a little bit more. And then without adding anything, I'm just going to blend that out and diffuse those edges and really blend it up to soften it. Cause y'all know me, I usually use like a pinkish or an orange type color. That diffused out really nice. All right, doing the same thing on the other eye. Again, stamping that color, and then we're going to just blend. All right, credit, now we're gonna go into Big Wig. So I'm using this blending brush, a little bit fluffier. This is from a dual-ended brush from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Let's use a more concentrated brush. Okay, this one from It's My Ray Ray. Let's try that. I'm glad I got colors that I hadn't used yet. I did use credit the other day. All right, so I'm gonna focus this on the outer V and then sweep it in. Okay, big wig. And credit kind of turned purple on me. So this is this is working out. I think I'm gonna take some of big wig and put it on the inner portion to create a halo eye. Oh uh, yeah, big wig works so much better if you like apply it first. I'm using that dual ended Urban Decay brush. All right, now I'm just gonna take that same fluffy brush and then just blend it out. All right, I'm using that same flat shader end on that Urban Decay brush, and I'm gonna go into Zam and put that right in the center. Feels a little bit chunky on that. I'm gonna get a little bit of big wig on my brush and just blend that out, blend out Zam. Ooh, okay, I like that. All right, I'm gonna use this same Urban Decay brush, get some of the Zam, and I'm gonna pop that on my lower lash line, kind of to mimic what I did on my lid. Then I'm gonna take big wig and put that on the outer and inner portion of my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of credit and blend that underneath and just smoke it out. Then get a little bit of Sam and put that in the inner corner. All right, just put a little bit of finishing touches on my face. All right, now we're going to blush it. I have this Morphe 24G palette and I've been using the shadows as blushes. I think I'm gonna go with Spiffy, a nice mauve neutral color. I think orange and purple go well together. A little bit of Spiffy and Brassy. See, no lashes today. 
Cause guess what y'all, I ain't going nowhere. I did want to line my lid. Before I put on mascara, I'm gonna line with a black pen. All right, now we can put on some mascara. Like I said, I'm probably not gonna put on lashes today because I'm going nowhere. All right, we're gonna do a nice neutral lip. Nice pinky nude from Wet n Wild. I still don't know the name of it. I used this in my Jack Hammer review video. And then a pinky nude gloss to go on top. Spray to finish it up. Press that into the skin. But that's it, y'all. Here's my Jackie Anna palette challenge. Yeah, my damn got lost in the sauce. All right, there we go. I had to go back and add some more Zam. I was like, where did my, where is Zam? Where did Zam go? Well, that is it for today's video, beauties. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure y'all get this palette so you can try this challenge out for yourself. I feel like this palette is definitely worth it. I haven't used it in like everyday regular life yet, but I can see so many looks. I definitely want to do a look with Pinker Supreme and Wiggly. And I think sponsored and Duolos. Oh yes, and I haven't even tried Lituation yet. But I love Soleil too. Yes, get this palette. Definitely worth it. So just serve me with the looks with the Jackie Anna palette. Mm. But thank you so much for watching beauties. But before you go, make sure you go down below and click that subscribe button. And right next to that, click that bell notification button so that you never miss when I post. Like I always say, it's free, it's easy, and it's fun. Again, thank you so much for watching beauties. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.